Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Invest 2016 here in Stuttgart, and it's the second day here. And with me here is Bradford Cook, the founder and CEO of Endeavor Silver. And he wants to give us an update about his first quarter. And of course, about also, we want to talk about El Cubo and Terronera. Bradford, good morning. Good morning, Jochen. Hope you're fine. Uh, very good, thank Super. you. Super. Your first quarter, how was it? It was another steady quarter for the company in the operations. I think we produced 1.5 million ounces of silver and 16,000 ounces of gold, right on track from where our plan was intending to be. Okay, great. Um, let's dive directly into El Cubo, because this is uh, yeah, your third mine, which is running still at a little bit at a loss, I would say. Um, what do you intend to do with the mine? Because first of all, it was said like maybe care and maintenance in Q4, but now it looks like you found a new technology, hopefully, that you can bring down the cost further. Can you elaborate a bit on that, please? Yes, yeah, so the context of our third mine is that we bought El Cubo in 2012 and we were willing to take an operating loss so long as we were doing the modernization of the operation and the expansion of the operation. But we completed that expansion last year. We brought the all-in operating costs from $42 per ounce all the way down to $18 per ounce. But as you know, silver didn't stay at $30 or even $20. It went to $14 per ounce. Yeah. So we made, I think, the, dif the difficult but correct decision in January to stop investing in the mine, uh, uh, mine the current reserves, generate profit this year, but slowly reduce the production until we go on care and maintenance in the fourth quarter. Uh, that was the first half of the story. The second <laughs> half of the story is that we started investigating technologies that would have an, another major impact on reducing our costs. And one particularly, uh, t particular technology, optical sorting, of the ore stream going into the plant uh, appears to have great potential for us. So let me describe. Uh, sure, please. This, this is a technology used commercially in the diamond mining business, and it uses lasers to detect effectively the reflectance of the particles on the conveyor belt going to the plant. Uh, of course, diamonds are highly reflective, and the black rocks that contain them are a very low reflectance, mm -hmm. so it works in diamonds. We thought we would try it for silver because the quartz veins that contain our silver are also very bright. So they are really shiny, right? And, and yeah? the, the dull gray wow. rocks in the walls of the quartz veins, they're not bright. Well, uh, two weeks ago, we received the laboratory results. Very good response, high contrast between uh, detecting ore versus waste. So the process from here is that we'll go to a pilot test in the second quarter. Uh, two tons of, of uh, run of mine ore will be sent, or has been sent actually, to the pilot facility in Kentucky, USA. And we'll go down actually to watch this test. Wow. If it works through the pilot plant, then the next decision will be to buy a commercial plant. Cool. So, How much will that be? Well, we are As told investment. something in the order of a million dollars, so not a lot of money. That's really affordable, I would say. Yeah. So maybe you have, you have to pay back after a month. If it works. Uh, uh, based, based on the lab work, it looks very, very good. Oh, now, yeah. let's be patient yeah, and, right. and see yeah. if the pilot test works. Yeah. Um, as a little bit of a speculation, would this new technology, let's, let's assume silver is $16 and does not go below, maybe it goes to $17, but would that assume when the technology works that you are profitable with the mine? Well, our goal with the technology is to be lower than, than that. So yeah. if we were $18 per ounce in the fourth quarter, the goal of this technology is to get down to 15, 13, 12. Uh, so I would wow. say if we can accomplish that, yeah. then uh, instead of uh, the ramp down, we'll start thinking about a ramp up at Al Kubo. Wow. Fantastic. So that means you generated the mine finally from a loss to a profit, and that's for the whole company, of course raises uh, the profit significantly. Exactly. Wow, I love to hear that. Yes. <laughs> Terronera, what is the status there? I mean, you had phenomenal exploration results. Please give us an update on that. Terronera is perhaps the most exciting uh, Greenfields high-grade discovery of silver in Mexico in the last 10 years. When I say Greenfields, I mean not beside a plant. Uh, there is no plant at Terranera. Okay. It is a historic district with uh, 20 different vein structures, 50 old mines, but all those mines closed 100 years ago. So when we develop Terranera, hopefully next year, it will not only be uh, the next high-grade mine in Mexico, uh, it should be our largest and lowest cost wow. operation. 
fantastic. How much money do you think you might need? I know it's maybe a bit too early, but you did already some studies, you have the PEA out, but where do you estimate the cost? Is it in the 50 millions, the 100 millions, and how can you finance that? So when we anal analyzed the preliminary economics last year for a small mine, 3 million ounces per year for 10 years, the capital cost of that was $65 million. We're now modeling to go higher, maybe 4.5 to 6 million ounces a year, and the capital cost of that is not a whole lot more. It's around $85 million. That's achievable, I would so say. So very achievable. And you can finance that out of the cash flow, assuming that Cubo also delivers now positive cash flow that's possible or do you need to raise a little bit maybe for that I, I, it, you could do it out of cash flow if we were willing to wait because you need time to build up your yeah. cash so if if at the end of the year early next year we want to go ahead I do know there are some attractive capital facilities uh, to raise money Super. Uh, not necessarily selling stocks uh, in order to build this mine Great, perfect. Bedford, thank you very much for that and keep fingers crossed with Ecubo and Terronera. I, th I know it will be a sensational mine. <laughs> well, what we're trying to do with this company over the next three yeah. years is double the production yeah. and we can do that by developing Terronera and buying one more mine. Fantastic. Uh, we're also I, I'm sure you have already one in your mind. We're thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you know, we're, tr we're trying to improve the quality of our operations. Yeah. So this technology at El Cubo is a way to improve the quality of El Cubo. Developing Terranera, it's already, uh, on the basis of our economic analysis, going to be a, a, a very high quality operation. Super. Fantastic. Thank you. Good luck on that. Thank Good. you very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it was Bradford Cook, the founder and CEO of Endeavor Silver. And yeah, good news ahead. Uh, it looks like uh, with the new technology, well, it is in the pilot phase, but it looks like that it really works. I have a good feeling on that, honestly. Uh, he turns El Kubo finally from a loss into a profit center. And uh, yeah, the force mine Terra Nera is in the front. Uh, it's coming uh, next year for sure, I think. And uh, yeah, Endeavor Silver will turn into a senior silver producer, double the production over the next years. Fantastic news for the shareholders. Check out the company. Thanks and bye-bye from the Invest 2016 in Stuttgart.